Phillies hosting the Nationals, and the Nationals are plus 212 on the money line. The Phillies are minus 258. The over-under is nine runs. The Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the close we get to first pitch tomorrow. And I was not expecting Lorenzen to go out and throw a no-hitter in today's game, but so is life. Now, Corbin pitched four times last year against the Phillies, and the Nationals did not win any of his appearances against the Phillies. Three and a third, nine runs, two of which were earned. They lost that game two to, uh, a 10 to 1. He struck out two. Two thirds of an inning, six runs, six earned. They lost that game 11 to 5. That was in Philly. He didn't strike anyone out. Six and two thirds, five runs, five earned. They lost that game 5 to 3 in Philadelphia, and he struck out two. Four and two thirds, seven runs, seven earned. They lost that game 8 to 1 in six innings. It had to be delayed because of the weather. He struck out three in that game. They're four and six in his last 10. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and 4.3 strikeouts per game in those games. In his last five games, more specifically, the Nationals have won his last two. They are three and two in his last five. The over is three and two in his last five, although the under hit in his last game. He's averaging six innings pitched with an ERA of 3.2. Three earned runs striking out two, four earned runs striking out two, five earned runs striking out five, three earned runs striking out six, one earned run striking out six. For Nola, he pitched four times against the Nationals last year. Eight shutout innings, they won two to one in 10. That was in DC, he struck out eight. Seven and two thirds, three runs, three earned. They lost that game three to two, he struck out three. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won 13 to one, he struck out five. Two shutout innings, they won that game seven to five, he struck out two. They are five and five as a team in his last 10. He's averaging six innings pitched and seven strikeouts per game in those games. In his last five starts, the Phillies have lost his last two. They are two and three in his last five. The over has hit in his last three. The over is four and one in his last five. He's got an ERA of 3.8, and he's averaging six innings pitched. Five earned runs striking out eight. Five earned runs striking out six. Three earned runs striking out seven. Two earned runs striking out six. Four earned runs striking out six. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is six and four. The Phillies are six and four. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite winning these games by multiple runs, laying a run and a half, is six and four. There have been four one-run games in their last ten. The over is 5, 3, and 2, and the over 9 is 4, 3, and 3 in their last 10 meetings between each other. In the games they've played in this series, the Phillies won 8-4, then the Nationals won 5-4, then the Phillies won today 7-0 behind a no-hitter that was thrown. For the Nationals, they're 6-4 and four in their last 10, 2-2 two and two in their last 4, and the under is 7-2-1 and one in their last 10. They beat the Reds 6-3, lost to the Phillies 8-4, beat the Phillies 5-4, then lost 7-0. For the Phillies, they're 7-3 in their last 10, and they are 4-1 in their last 5. The over is 5-4-1 in their last 10. 2-4. The over is 4-1-1 in their last 6. Beating the, Na uh, beating the Royals 8-4, beating the Nationals 8-4, losing 5-4 to the Nationals, and then beating them 7-0. The Phillies have this funny thing about losing to the nationals when they're a super heavy favorite like they are today and then beating them when they're more reasonably priced i understand that corbin struggled but there is really good value here and i'm gonna take the nationals the nationals have been winning with corbin and the phillies have been losing with nola so we'll see nationals with the money line nationals getting the runs and i'm gonna go over these are just my picks if you disagree please go with your gut and please bet responsibly